On behalf of Radha Krishna Astro Services, I am very excited to see you all in this YouTube video. As always, I am getting overwhelmed by your excellent feedback and today we will be focusing on some of your requests. Um, many people have asked, how do, you, how do you estimate the time duration for a dasha and what within a dasha needs to be considered like a some people say that as bhukti, some people mention the same term bhukti as antardasha. But nevertheless, let's, put, let's keep it very simple. Dasha equates a major period. Bhukti or antardasha equates to a sub-period. And we can go to sub-sub-period and three levels of subs also in future. But for the sake of simplicity for these classes, I'm going to maintain the dasha level and the bhukti level. And it's left to your inquisitiveness to develop on that skill. And as always, you can ping me via email or just leave a uh, note or comment in the footnote of my videos in the YouTube. So with that said, um, let's just hop right onto the whiteboard. So in our previous classes, we have discussed each planet will have their specific influence on each individual's horoscope or life for a certain period of time. That is exactly what we call it as Dasha or also known as Major Period. So, we have already seen this in our previous classes, but for the purpose of recap, I am going to dedicate the left side of my whiteboard for the Dasha and on the right side, I am going to tell you how you calculate the span for the Bhukti or Antra Dasha or in simpler English term, Sun Period. Okay, so Sun Anybody experiencing sun's major period, they can experience it for a period of maximum six years. Likewise, moon, moon's major period can last maximum for 10 years. Next comes Mars or Mangal. Okay, Mars's major period according to the Vedic astrology, according to the Vimshotri Dasha system, lasts for seven long years. Next comes Rahu. For Rahu, the major period, or also known as Dasha, lasts for 18 years. Next comes Guru or Jupiter. Jupiter's major period lasts for 16 years, followed by Saturn's major period which is for 19 years, Buddha or Mercury, it lasts for 17 years, then Ketu for 7 and Shukra or Venus, his major period is for 20 years. Okay, so my, my humble request is to have this memorized. If you are finding it hard time to memorize, the best strategy is to keep note of this in your personal notebook or any electronic device that you normally like to take notes for. Okay, so have this in the mental picture. Now we are going to pass on to the right side of the whiteboard where I'll be explaining to you how to calculate the sub period or bhukti. Assuming that if somebody is going through Shukra Dasha started today. What is today's date? Today's date is 5th May 2017. First thing we need to understand till what day the Shukra Dasha is going to be in operation for this person. We have already seen Shukra Dasha lasts for 20 years. Okay, So just straight away add 20 to the years here. So this person is going to experience Shukra Dasha till May 5th, 2037. Okay, so that's the first estimation. So, Shukra Dasha is quite a long period, 20 year long period. If you are going to predict like for this entire 20 years, you are going to be like A, B, C, then people are going to ridicule at you. The most efficient method of doing the prediction is if you go into the sub period or Bhukti level. Okay, for that, we need to know how the bhuktis are calculated, right? So let's get to Shukra Dasha, Venus in English. Okay, 
he has got 20 years of his dasha period. Right? What will be the first sub period in any dasha? For Venus dasha, what is going to be the sub period first? Venus. Good. So Venus will be the sub period, first sub period. Okay. So now we are in the process of calculating what is the time time duration for Venus bhukti within the Venus dasha. Okay. How do you do that? Take the number of years of dasha of the dasha lord, multiply by the number of years of the dasha for the bhukti lord. Here the dasha lord and bhukti lord are one and the same. So 20 times 20, it is 400, okay? Just drop two decimals and put a decimal point here. What is that? Number 40. And after that, you got zero past the decimal point. So all you have to do is 40 months is the span for Shukra Dasha, Shukra Bhukti. All right. So if you map the 40 months in terms of the years, it's going to be 36 months plus 4 months. What is 36 months? It's going to be mapping to 3 years, right? So now, assuming that if somebody started Shukra Dasha today, that person will be having Shukra Dasha, Shukra Bhukti for 3 years and 4 months, which is till September 5th, 2020, he is going to have Shukra Dasha, Shukra Bhukti. Okay? I hope you understood how, you cal how we calculated the Dasha. But Dasha calculation, sorry, Dasha Bhukti calculation may have a little variance. Let us study a variance case here. See, if somebody is going through Guru Dasha or Jupiter Dasha in English, okay? What is the total number of Dasha, uh, total number of years that Jupiter Dasha will be operation in somebody's horoscope? Look at this chart. Guru's Dasha is going to be for 16 years, right? So now, let's do that. For what will be the first Bhukti within Guru Dasha? So, Guru Dasha will last for 16 years. The first Bhukti in the Guru Dasha will be Guru Bhukti, right? Yes. So let's do this. Number of years of the Dasha Lord times number of Dasha years for the Bhukti Lord. Multiply these two, you will be getting 256. As I mentioned in the previous exercise, push two digits and drop a decimal point right there. Okay, so this will be 25 months. And unlike the last calculation, here we've got some number past the decimal point. There is a super trick that I'm going to teach you. Grab that number and multiply it by three. Okay. 6 times 3 is 18, right? So you are going to add that. So it's going to be 25 months plus 18 days is the time for Guru Dasha, Guru Bhukti. Okay, so if we map the 25 months, which is nothing but 24 months plus 1 month plus 18 days, right? What is 24 months equal to? Two years. Two years. Two years plus one month plus 18 days. One person will be experiencing Guru Dasha, Guru Bhukti. Assuming that the person starts Guru Dasha today. What is today's date? Today's date is 5th May. May 2017. Okay. Just add two years. Just add one month and just add 18 days. So it's basically 23rd June 2019. If a person started Guru Dasha today and he is going to have 
Guru Dasha until 23rd June 2019, which is 25 months and 18 days of Guru Dasha Guru Bhukti. After that comes Guru Dasha Shani Bhukti. You can just extrapolate the calculation that I taught you. 16 is the number of Dasha for Guru and number of Dasha for, number of years of Dasha for the Bhukti Nath Shani is 19. So multiply 16 times 19, get the result, push the two decimal places and place a decimal point, whatever comes on the right rightmost digit, take that, multiply it by 3 and that will be the number of days. And whatever number that you saw, left to the decimal point, that will be the number of months. As simple, right? I hope you get an opportunity to play with these numbers. And just to make sure, don't be discouraged, we are now getting into the nitty gritty details of astrology. And I am very happy to play with this math and explain you certain very finer details of astrology. And if you don't get it straight and right the first time, don't get disheartened. Try it. I mean, this is after all a YouTube video. You can play it, pass it, go back in time, take a look at the video, do whatever you want. And I, my, my best intention is that you understand the concept fairly thoroughly. Hope this video helps. And if it is so, please feel free to subscribe more. And please pass a good word to your friends and family so that they can subscribe and get benefits from our astrological classes. Until we see in our next class, Namaste.